Jogging, sitting on a bench, even chess. They are some of the most common ways we interact with public spaces in a city environment. But lately, in some of Baltimore's plazas and parks, there are other objects being strategically placed, ones that almost beg us to interact with each other. Sometimes life falls into a rhythm, a back and forth dictated by the metronome that is our career and responsibilities and stresses. Back and forth, back and forth, until oh come on, Ken! Life serves up a surprise bounce. What's that? In the hard streetscape of Baltimore City, it's a little plastic ball getting random people to stop short in their routines, let their eyes trace a different rhythm, and smile. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Plenty of eye candy. <laughs> on many days, they're Plenty fixed on Mac, playing ping pong in the middle of Center Plaza with just about anyone else willing to pick up a paddle and stand on the other side of the table. We're fighting for this point. This is deuce. Deuce, all right? It's deuce, win a book, win a game. On this day... Oh, good shot, you have. It's Ken, a young Chinese student spending a summer in Baltimore studying and volleying for serve against strangers like Mac after one day noticing this curious setup in the middle of a city park. At first, people stare. Maybe come out there. Then some start to play. Huh? There's room out there for you. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows who owns it, so nobody thinks they can play because they don't know who owns it, and everything is private these days. Every day we're trying to figure out what new things to put in the plaza. Part of a very public design with an even more public purpose. The ping pong table is owned by the downtown partnership of Baltimore. One day, a few months ago, the group just put it here. A social experiment. You guys call this a, a, a placemaker? Yes, yes. This is called placemaking in terms of urban design. And actually, there's a, a theory out there that there should at least be 10 different things for people to do in a Parker Plaza. Some are scheduled events, but also some are these daily um, activities that people can just impromptu take advantage of. President yeah. Kirby Fowler says these placemakers are meant to draw people out of buildings and to use public spaces. Six years ago, Center Plaza was a depressing hardscape of permanent benches and concrete that bred the feeling of big city anonymity. But now there are flowers, movable seating, cafes, green, and, well, blue spaces. Some of which placed just so. Yeah, there you go, okay. Okay. It matches up a guy from East Baltimore with a kid from China, Dubai, Jamaica, Nigeria, from this, from this table. All those different nationalities has been on the other side of this table. A new place making different friends. Oh, good shot, Ken. A top spin to break up that predictable back and forth. This story's about ping pong, right? Is it? Yeah, I thought it was. Now, the downtown partnership is planning more placemakers like the one in Center Plaza. Currently, the group is looking at McKeldin Plaza at Light and Pratt for a farmer's market and maybe some other unique attractions. What a great story to yeah. bring people together. So, I mean, so how'd you find out about it? We were actually um, shooting a different story in Center Plaza uh -huh. uh, with a different subject. And we looked down and we kept hearing the ping pong back and forth. I had a ping pong table as a kid. Many people <laughs> did. And I was like, what is there a ping pong table in the middle of a city plaza for? And so we, we interviewed these guys playing and then uh, called some people downtown and they told us it was, it was partnership and this is all done on, on purpose to get people to interact with each other and, and in our public spaces. So we have to stay tuned to see what they're going to put out next. Yeah, who knows? Okay. They, no one knew there was going to be a ping pong table, so who knows what's coming next. Great story. You know, today was a great day for ping pong. Let's check in with Wyatt.